Okay, this one is going to be a shorter one, um, R7 continued, but we're going to be simplifying radicals by converting to rational exponents. Like, uh, it's pretty weird, but I think once you get the hang of it, it's easy. Now, there's one rule um, that said that if the exponent and the index or root number had any common factors, it was not simplifiable. Well, this one's weird. I've got here, I've got the sixth root of nine. So at first glance, you're gonna think, I only have a pair of threes, right? So why isn't this simplified? Because I would need six threes to bring something in, out. But the thing is, um, the, because there's, if you wrote this as six times three squared, which is the exact same thing, then this exponent has a common factor with this root number, okay? So if they, if they share a common factor, it's not simplified. And you can't pull out a three, but you can simplify it and write it as a smaller root number by converting it to um, a rational or fractional exponent. So if we wrote this, it would be three to the two six if we wrote it in exponential form. And three to the two six, well that simplifies to three to the one third. Now let's put it back into root form. You're not allowed to leave things with fractional exponents. So we'll just call it uh, the cubed root of three. So this equals the same thing as this, uh, but you had to convert it to a fractional exponent to simplify it. Doesn't that look like it's more, more simplified form, the cubed root of three than the sixth root of nine? Uh, it's a pretty neat little trick. That's something you can get your friends with if you want to. You could be like, oh, this is not simplified, but it, or you could be like, simplify this and they'll be, but it is. And you'd be like, but it's not. So let's try this one. Sixth root of x to the 12, y to the third. All right. Now, uh, there's, okay, so if we were to look for groups of six x's and you have x to the 12, you could see there's gonna be two of those groups. So an x squared would come out. But there's more, there's, um, there's an old saying from back in my day, and it says, there's more than one way to pet a cat. So we're gonna use a different, it means you can do the same thing in different ways. Um, and so we're gonna do the same, we're gonna get the same answer by converting it to exponential form. So check this out. If we convert this to exponential form, we would have this is equal to x to the 12 over six, and this is y to the three over six, okay? Um, now, we can simplify both of these fractions. The first one simplifies to x to the second power, 12 over six simplifies to the second power. The second one simplifies to y to the one half, okay? Now, x squared, I love, that's simplified. x squared is simplified. But this can be written as a radical, a square root. Uh, y to the one half would be the same thing as the square root of y. So I had x squared times the square root of y. Simplified. I want to notice how it's pretty cool. We got x squared by x to the 12 over six. We could also look at how we learned earlier on in this lesson and notice that there's two groups of six X's and pull it out that way. But there's more than one way to pet cats. All right, now, the next one. Uh, uh, taking it from the book. Oh, this is gonna be a neat one. Let's do this one. Here I have the ninth root of the uh, square root of six cubed. So this is pretty neat because we're just looking at, you know, what we know about roots. If you remember, this is a ninth root, this is the square root, and if you want to do a root of a root, you can just multiply the root numbers. Don't forget, there's not a one there for square root, it's an implied two, which goes against all the other implied numbers we've learned about earlier on in our math quiz. So another way to write this to start the simplification process is to call it to the 18th root of six cubed. Now, um, 
now we can write it in a fractional form as six to the three eighteenths, which would then, if we simplify this fraction, that would be six to the one six, and then we would call it the sixth root of six to the first power, or just the sixth root of six. I mean, that's a pretty neat little, quick little, sweet little lesson. All right, moving forward. Now